Welcome to the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Renaissance Bank, with Auburn head coach Bruce Pearl. I'm Andy Birch. I'm glad to have you with us. Tigers with uh, two really tough ball games this past week. Auburn fell in overtime to Ole Miss and then rebounded with a huge win at Vanderbilt on the road. Coach, uh, you look, I mean, you, you go from the, the lowest of lows to a very, very important victory for your ball club this past week. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, every night in the league, it's, uh, it's a league play. It's, it's, it's a grind. And, um, you know, the, the Ole Miss game was a tough one because we played really well. Ole Miss is good. Uh, they, uh, they got off to a great start uh, in the non-conference and, and then just got off to a terrible start in conference play and kind of dug themselves a huge hole. But we've been through the conference, and I haven't seen everybody, but you know, they're an upper division team because they're older. And in fact, they are the most experienced team in the league. And uh, you know, Schuler's an all-conference guard that returns. They got some you know, quality graduate transfers. They're older. And, and obviously, they showed it uh, late in our game. Um, and, uh, you know, we had won nine straight in overtime. And that's the first loss in, 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 in 10 games in overtime. And I think it just speaks to the experience. Back with highlights of the Auburn Ole Miss overtime game when we come back on the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Renaissance Bank. The Auburn Basketball Review is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. And by Verizon. Verizon is building a powerful 5G experience for America. This is 5G Built Right. This is James. Jimmy! Mom. Dad. This is James. Jimmy! James? James Harrison from Roosevelt High? Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh. You good, Jimmy? The 2021 Toyota RAV4. The RAV for all of you. Get 0% APR for 48 months on a new 2021 RAV4 and 90 day payment deferral. Toyota, let's go places. Car wreck and you don't know where to go. Listen real close, I'll tell you what I know. Thanks a lot for my make you smile. Pick up the phone, here's the number to dial down. I'm a Verizon engineer, and today we're turning on 5G across the country with a coverage of 5G nationwide. And in more and more cities, the unprecedented performance of ultra wideband, the fastest 5G in the world. It will change your phone and how businesses do everything. I'm proud because we didn't build it the easy way, we built it right. This is the 5G America's been waiting for, only from Verizon. Broken windshield, take one. Hey guys, my windshield just got broken. I feel like I need to blow off some steam. Let's go. One, two, three. Mr. Blanks, there's no need to be stressed. Geico makes it easy to file a claim online, on the app, or over the phone. Yeah, but what if I never hear back? That's gonna make me wanna go, jam, jam. No, nope, your Geico claims team is always there for you. That makes me wanna celebrate with some fireworks. Five, six, seven, go. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah! Geico, great service without all the drama. Welcome back in the Auburn Basketball Review presented by Renaissance Bank. Coach, you know, going into that Ole Miss game, you're going to get one of the best defensive teams in the Southeastern Conference. Now, it turned out to be a high-scoring game, but you know that, that Ole Miss prides itself on its defense going in. Yeah, we struggled at Ole Miss uh, against the 1-3-1 and some of their changing defenses, and I thought we did a you know, much better job. Obviously, we had Sharif Cooper in this one. We did not have him, uh, nor did we have Justin Powell last time we went over there. So... Uh, you know, we, we had an opportunity, and, uh, and like I said, man, we played really well. We, we led for about 70% of that game um, and, and, and did, did a lot of things very well offensively. Now, defensively, you know, Romello Wright really hurt us on the inside, and, and, and Schuler and Joyner obviously made big plays off the bounce, had a, had a hard time preventing Ole Miss from scoring points in the paint. Let's take a look at the highlights presented by Truckworks. Skip pass right side, Johnson to the top for Cooper underneath. Cardwell with the dunk on the alley-oop. 
Tigers down three with the ball. Cooper drives other end of the floor to the basket. Yes, and a foul on the play. To Jalen Williams into the key for JT4. At the top, Jalen straight away three. Yes. Top of the key for Shuri penetrates underneath for Cardwell for the two-hand stuff. Auburn by 11, underneath Cardwell, with the two-hand dunk, a no-look pass by Sharif. Sharif gets a screen, top of the circle. Left wing, Jalen, open, three ball, count it. Auburn's lead is down to eight. Schuler underneath Flanagan, oh! Into the corner for Thor, drives to the hole and lays oh. it with the left-hand hammer. Right wing, three ball, Flanagan in, yes! Oh. Cooper to the corner, Thor to tie it, no! Rebound to Jalen Williams, to the wing, Sharif to tie it. It's yes. good! With 15.1 seconds to go! Down to three, Schuler, 19 footer, he got it! Baseball pass ahead near midcourt, it's stolen and this one is over. Coach, you take a look at this ball game, as you mentioned, you led for a good portion of it. Ole Miss came back, forced the overtime. Credit your ball club though, you're down five in the overtime period, come back and tie it before Schuler hits that game winner. Yeah, you know, it was tough. I mean, Schuler is, he's a really good one-on-one -on -one player. He was preseason on SEC. Uh, the, the zone had been effective for us. Our matchup had been really good at, against, uh, against Ole Miss. And, and, and uh, you know, they, they, they made a big shot. I'll tell you the turning point for me, Andy, was uh, we had a five-point lead in regulation fairly late, minute and change left. And, and they came out of a timeout uh, and knocked down a three-pointer to Schuler, And then the next possession, uh, Joyner drives downhill right and scores. And those five points to me, you know, were the difference. Yeah, it was great that we came back in overtime. It shows you the, the character, the culture, uh, the fact that, you know, we, we, obviously we didn't know quit, but we also made some plays to come back. Um, but it just, it wasn't enough to, to, to get the victory. Your message to your ball club coach, not, not just after that game, but maybe a day after that game, as in you were getting ready to go back on the road in the SEC. I mean, it just, it's, well, first of all, the, the, the big messaging heading to Vanderbilt was history. Uh, that, you know, I asked them the question, what's our record the last 11 times, you know, we played in, in Nashville? And they didn't know, you know, they're always guessing around, whatever, whatever. I mean, we're, it was one in 10, including the last time we were there a couple of years ago, we beat them. But I mean, we just don't, uh, Vanderbilt's program has been really good in men's basketball. And uh, our program has been better lately. And, um, and I wanted the guys to, to understand um, that it wouldn't be easy because Vanderbilt had been playing well at home and, 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 and they've not quit on the season yet. Uh, but it was an opportunity for Auburn, you know, to, to get a road win if, if we could play well. Two really good offensive teams uh, and two teams that struggle the defensive end. You wouldn't know that from watching the first half as both teams struggled to score and both teams struggled to make shots. Um, but both teams played really well defensively in the first half. Uh, Auburn played really well defensively throughout the game. Back with Holding Court with Brad Law when we come back on the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Renaissance Bank. When your taste buds demand greatness, nothing compares to Red Diamond Coffee. Unless, of course, it's Red Diamond Tea. No shortcuts, no skimping. Perfect's not easy. Red Diamond, available at a grocer near you. Back when we started this company, folks had the idea that all treated lumber was the same. Well, our little yellow tag put an end to that. Today, people know that the best does have a name, Yellowwood brand pressure treated pine. They use it because they can trust it to be around for years and years. And so will we. Here's to 50 years of five-star backyards and the little yellow tag. Going the extra mile means separating yourself from the competition, to focus on the positives, to build confidence, and to compete. You gotta prove yourself. You gotta work hard, play smart, and never give in. It's this kind of commitment that's made F-Series America's best-selling truck 43 years straight. For great offers on F-150, See your local Ford dealer today. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Whether you're heading to an off-road destination for work or play, creating the perfect lawn to wrap up another Yard of the Month award, or preparing the fields for a bumper crop, think SunSouth, where you'll find quality John Deere equipment, 
affordably priced and ready to help you tackle outdoor projects faster and more efficient. And now, for those larger projects, think SunSouth to save on our new selection of John Deere compact construction equipment. SunSouth, proud to be the preferred tractor of the Auburn Tigers. When your taste buds demand greatness, nothing compares to Red Diamond Coffee. Unless, of course, it's Red Diamond Tea. No shortcuts, no skimping. Perfect's not easy. Red Diamond, available at a grocer near you. Holding Court is brought to you in partnership with Renaissance Bank. Understanding you. We're holding court today with Auburn sophomore Jalen Williams. Jalen War Eagle, thanks for letting War fans Eagle. get to know you a little bit. Yes, sir. All right, what should we know about Jalen Williams when you're not playing or practicing or taking care of schoolwork? What are you doing? Uh, I love to play video games, uh, hang out with my teammates. Uh, and then, like through high school, I was a pretty good wide receiver. And I'm a pretty good dancer. And a pretty good dancer, too. Yeah. All right, what song or what artist gets you going the most? I'd say J. Cole gets me going the most out of most artists because he hit hard on most of his songs. But uh, like recently, Lil Baby, you know, he's a more newer artist, so yeah. he hits me hard too, yeah. If we got some music for you, would you show us a few moves here, or is that reserved for the locker room or, or you for just gotta, You gotta stay tuned for the locker room at the post game. I'll show you something at the post game. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Uh, if we were at practice, Jalen, what's something that we would hear uh, one of the coaches say all the time? Guaranteed at practice, you're gonna hear him say what? Uh, communicate. Okay. Make sure, because you know we're a young team, you're gonna hear that a lot. Especially when, like, there's no fans in the crowd, so like, it's not even like loud. So like, you have to communicate. So like, well, you can't not communicate because it's gonna mess up everything, and that's that's pretty big. And defensive rebounding, you're gonna hear that win championships. Yeah, you're gonna hear that every day. Pretty sound advice then uh, yeah. on the court. All right, you told us off the court you would describe yourself as a little goofy sometimes. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Uh, uh, you can just ask my teammates, it's like I'm always joking around, like like a lot of people just, just can't take me serious, like if I'm like upset, they just like know something is like wrong, like I don't know, I'm just a goofy person, I try to make everybody laugh and smile and have a good time. Yeah, alright. When basketball is done down the road, what would you like to be doing? Uh, I think I would look into coaching, I like to coach either at any level just to build up to be like making big money coaching one day hopefully yeah. you know. uh give me your best uh, what is your favorite part of being a student at auburn so outside of, of basketball your favorite part of auburn that has nothing to do with basketball well you know this year is a little difficult because it's like just being on zoom but i just like let's say my freshman year i just love like going to class and just seeing other people other than like athletes because you know I live in the dorm so like that's all I see like, every day all day so going in the classroom meeting new people getting in groups with them work doing things together like that that seemed fun to me and like different so yeah. that was great very good thanks for spending time with us today yes Jaylen. sir I appreciate it so. that's holding court with Jalen Williams presented by Renaissance Bank basketball review is presented by Sun South John Deere the preferred tractor of your Auburn Tigers. And by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama. We cover what matters.
Just like your favorite mascot, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama works hard behind the scenes. Proud sponsor of the Tide and Tigers. Going the extra mile means separating yourself from the competition, to focus on the positives, to build confidence, and to compete. You gotta prove yourself. You gotta work hard, play smart, and never give in. It's this kind of commitment that's made F-Series America's best-selling truck 43 years straight. For great offers on F-150, see your local Ford dealer today. Ford F-150, the official truck of the Auburn Tigers. Welcome back to the Auburn Basketball Review presented by Renaissance Bank. History was against Auburn going to Nashville on Tuesday night, Coach. You talked a little bit about the history of going there and playing there. It's been a very tough place for a lot of teams, including Auburn. How do you handle that when you go in knowing how tough it has been for Auburn teams to play in Nashville, specifically at Memorial Gymnasium? Well, it's just an opportunity for this year's team to do something positive and um, and, and get a win and, 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 and a tough place to play. The COVID environment uh, makes playing on the road not as hostile. Uh, you know, there weren't a lot of people in Memorial Gymnasium on a, on a, on a late Tuesday night tip. And uh, uh, the ability to communicate with your ball club from the end zone was a lot easier uh, because it was quiet in there. So, um, you know, sometimes these games, they seem like controlled scrimmages. And uh, man, I wish we could have more people in Auburn Arena. I wish we had more people downstairs. Mm. You know, we have such a small seating capacity down on the floor. And by, by rule, you know, what they've done is, is, is they've, they've moved everybody upstairs. And, 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 and man, it's just, it's been tough. And, and so uh, we were able to take advantage of, of that, that, the lack of a home court advantage for Vanderbilt. Let's take a look at the highlights of Auburn's win at Vanderbilt, presented by Truckworks. Top of the circle for Disu, and there's a turnover. Here's Cambridge on the break for Auburn. To Cooper, inside the arc, down the lane, and a running one-hand dunk by Dylan Cardwell, and the Tigers are on the board. Flanagan drives, kicks it on the wing for Moore. Top of the circle, Jalen had the three, didn't take it. Left wing Jamal, he'll take it, yes! Gave him a little shove and then blocked the shot when he tried to jump. These teams have combined for nine blocks in the ball game. Jamal Johnson, open three for the lead off the right wing. To the top, Cambridge, left wing Cooper, low post Thor. Turn around jumper in the air, it's no good. Oh, it went in, excuse me. That hit the iron, hit the glass and fell through. The driver just go by it. Vanderbilt by four underneath the alley-oop to Devin Cambridge. The Nashville native pounds at home for the Tigers. Cooper works on Scotty Pippen Jr. out at the top. Lobs it back door. Flanagan with the dunk. The alley-oop and Auburn ties the game at 31. Behind the back dribble. 12 in the shot clock. Right wing Jamal. Long three. Good. Oh my. Woo. 46-45 Vanderbilt. Here's Cooper on a drive to the basket. He missed it. Rebound Javon Franklin up and in with a foul on the play. Obina fouled him and Javon goes to the line for the and one. Auburn by four, 7-10 in the second half, Tiger basketball. Sharif Cooper penetrates, drives to the basket, cut off on the baseline, fade away from 12. Yes! Williams to Cooper. Sharif spins down the lane, up for the shot. It's good and a foul on the play! Cooper at the point, drives through a double team to the corner. Flanagan for three. He missed it. Rebound, tap up and in by Jalen Williams. What a play by Jalen down the left side of the lane. Off the left wing, between the legs, dribble, baseball pass. Cambridge for three. It's good. <laughs> off the glass, off the iron, off the glass and in. Oh, huge three for Devin Cambridge. Cooper on the left hand dribble. Now you can run something. Shot clock at 10. Kicks it off the top for Thor. Thor to Cooper at the top. Five to shoot, penetrates down the lane. To the hole, off the glass, it's good! <laughs> Thor the inbound to Sharif Cooper. They won't foul. Cooper across midcourt. Down to two, down to one. And Auburn wins in Nashville. And Auburn 73, Vanderbilt 67. Coach, you talked about how rugged it was in the first half of play. Things evened out a bit in the second half. But, boy, Jamal Johnson in the first half was the big offensive weapon. And then down the stretch, Sharif Cooper. 
and hitting your free throws down the stretch of that ball game seem to be a couple of the really big keys. Yep, yeah, Andy, yeah, absolutely. You got to make plays. You got to make shots. There's a difference between taking them and making them. And, you know, Jamal made them. Uh, he shot the ball well the night before. Uh, the, bat, the, ball, the, the, the rim looked huge to him. And, and, and he, you know, he, he, he was open, but he wasn't wide open, but he was open. And uh, the shots that he was making were some of the same shots that early in the game we were missing. Um, they weren't great shots. They were good shots. And I kind of told the team, I said, guys, we've got to stop turning the basketball over. And that's still an issue for us. We still turned it over 17 times. Um, and uh, too many of them are unforced. And um, got to be able to make that adjustment, you know. And that, that's the hard part about sometimes it takes a – a timeout. Sometimes it takes a game. Sometimes it takes a season to make some adjustments. And, 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 and in some ways, this team has grown and improved. But in other ways, it's been, it's been a struggle uh, to, to get them to, um, I, I, particularly about the turnovers, to, to not give them away, make people take them from us. And we would, be, we would be better at both ends. Part of our problem is our transition defense. When you turn the ball over, it puts your transition defense uh, at risk, and, and obviously heading uh, up to Lexington now, that's going to be an issue for us this weekend. And one of those areas where your ball club has improved, especially since the start of the SEC, has been your free throw shooting, and that was a key late. Yeah, well, I mean, part of it is like, it's funny, you know, you know when, the, when, when we're shooting good free throws, they talk about, you know, it, it, it always boils down to some coaching. Truly, get, Sh Sh get Sharif Cooper and Alan, Cooper, uh, Alan Flanagan to the line late, we're going to make free throws. You know, get, put your best Best free throw shooters on the line late, and, and you're going to make free throws. And uh, especially when you're, we've played in a little bit of a lead. Uh, one of the biggest plays of the game was Jalen Williams getting an offensive rebound basket late when the game was, uh, uh, you know, kind of going back and forth. One of the biggest plays of the game, I thought, was Devin Cambridge making some shots in Nashville, mm. uh, where his family's from. Um, you know, I thought that, uh, again, it was a good team effort, good, good contribution. Jamal carried us. We don't beat Vanderbilt without Jamal Johnson's contribution. And then, of course, in the second half, Sharif put the ball in his hands. And he makes plays for himself and everybody else. An opportunity for Auburn, Kentucky on Saturday. We'll talk about that when we come back on the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Renaissance Bank. Beginning the morning you opened your eyes, we spent every waking moment preparing you for the day you'd leave our nest. Whether it's driving to practice or helping with homework, it's all prepared you for, what am I going to be when I grow up? Will you be ready? After much thought, I made my decision to take my talents to the IBEW Local 613. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers is not simply a job, it's a career. Visit IBEW613.org to begin a new future today. Car wreck and you don't know where to go. Listen real close, I'll tell you what I know. Fans long for me, make you smile. Pick up the phone, here's the number to dial. Down three, for me. Three, 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 three. Fans long for me. Three, for me. Three, 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 three. Fans long for me. Three, for me. Three, 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 three. Fans long for me. Three, 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 three. three, 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 three. Fans long for me. Just like your favorite mascot, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Alabama works hard behind the scenes. Proud sponsor of the Tide and Tigers.
Wrapping things up on the Auburn Basketball Review presented by Renaissance Bank. Coach, you talked about the opportunity going to Nashville. You have that same kind of opportunity now going to Lexington Saturday morning. Yeah, I think the math's even worse in Lexington. So, um, again, got, we got some opportunities there. Uh, obviously, Kentucky is having a historically different season than what, you know, what we're used to seeing. Uh, they're still a talented team, but like us, they're really young. And, 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 and like us, have, have, have been really competitive. I mean, look at their last few games. They've lost, but, man, they've been right there. So they haven't given up the ship. Um, and so we'll have to play our best basketball. We really guard them well in Auburn. Uh, both teams uh, struggled a little bit uh, on the offensive end. So uh, we'll see if we can make some more history on Saturday. 11 o'clock Central Time start on Saturday. Auburn Sports Network coverage begins at 1030. Expecting to have Sonny Smith back with us for that call. Coaches, we look ahead a couple of weeks. The Outlive game against Tennessee and uh, an opportunity for folks to buy your shirts, buy your wristbands, and contribute to an outstanding Outlive cause. Well, this is I'm wearing a retro Outlive t-shirt right here. This is from a couple of years ago, but the cause is still good. It's a reminder to go get checked. You're going to die of something else if you detect cancer early. That's a key. And so that's part of the messaging. And then every dollar we raise goes into the pocket of a patient that's battling cancer, having a hard time paying a mortgage bill, gas to get to the chemo. Uh, there are expenses. When you're battling cancer, life can't stop. You've got to continue to take care of your family. Think about that. Every year we've given almost $100,000 to cancer patients. And, and those prayer bracelets, they are off the charts. Uh, so Outlive.com, please go online. It won't be. It'll be the February 27th Tennessee game. But we won't have 8,000 people in the building like we normally would. We need you to go online and know that you're going to be making a difference. Outlive.com is where you can make that contribution. Coach, thank you for the visit. Wish you all the best this week. War Eagle. War Eagle. For Tigers head coach Bruce Pearl, I'm Andy Bertram. This has been the Auburn Basketball Review, presented by Renaissance Bank.